Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Megan Tennant, in case you didn't already know, and I've got a new video for you guys today. Yesterday I talked about gifts for readers, and as promised, now I'm gonna be talking about gifts for writers. So if your writer is also a reader, check out the other video, you get twice as many options as people who are gift giving for plain old readers. Most of the things I'm gonna go over are things available on Amazon, because that's where I get 99% of my gifts because I procrastinate and I put off getting gifts until two days beforehand and then my only option is prime two day shipping or going out into the real world, which let's be honest, I'm not gonna do that. And I live here, I work here, I'm staying right here, I'm good, thanks. So this list is gonna be available all year round. I'm gonna add to it as I find new cool things. So you can always find it on my shop, amazon.com slash shop slash underscore Megan underscore tenant. You can also find it in the description of all of my videos. So the first few things I'm gonna mention aren't on Amazon. First thing up, I wanna give a shout out to Jenna Moresi for this idea. She's the one who's made me want this for like ever and I keep forgetting to put it on my wish list and that is custom phone covers. So basically you just wanna grab a high quality image of their book cover and then there's tons of websites where you can make custom phone cases. It's super easy and you know that they're gonna love it because they love their book cover. Alternately, you can also get them a Kindle case like this, or if you know what kind of laptop they have, there's also laptop cases, so there's multiple options. Next up, we have subscriptions. Firstly, you could get them a monthly subscription box. That way they have a surprise gift on their doorstep for every month that you get the subscription for. There's a lot less of these boxes available for writers as there are for readers, but there are still some options. I linked down below to one that's available on CrateJoy. It's called Scribbler. I've never gotten one of these boxes, but they seem pretty neat. Next up, we have music subscriptions. If you have a writer in your life, odds are that they use music to write. So you could get them a subscription to Spotify. That's what I use. It's just amazing. Alternatively, you could give them a subscription to YouTube Red, Amazon Prime Music. And then I think you could also give them Pandora. I don't know if Pandora is still a thing anymore. I haven't heard much about it lately. And last but not least, we have subscription to Skillshare. Skillshare has tons of cool classes, including classes on writerly topics. Our very own Jenna Moresi has multiple classes there you can check out. And that was it for the non-Amazon items. The rest of the items are all gonna be things that are on that Amazon list, so they're easier for you to find. Some of them are things you've seen before, I'm sure, but some of them I think I got a little more creative with. Now, just like I did with the reader video, I'm not gonna mention every single item because this video would get too long. So check out the shop for the things that I'm not going to list. And again, I'm gonna keep that updated throughout the year so you can always check it out for new things. So first up, because this is the cold month of December, we have a whole list of items just built to keep your writer person warm. Because when you're sitting at a desk writing, their feet are getting cold, their fingers are getting cold, it's just overall it's just a bad experience. So first up, we have the more generic standard things like a heated blanket. This is kind of a personal size heated blanket so they can just sit at their desk, wrap it around them, has multiple settings. Next up we have gloves. You can of course find a billion on Amazon, but the important thing is that you need finger movement. We have a compression option, especially good if your writerly person has carpal tunnel or tendonitis or arthritis or anything like that, or they just have finger pain. This is compression, so it like squeezes your fingers and helps with blood flow, I guess. Then you also have the option of just plain old material ones. The ones that I found that I really liked cut off just below the fingers, so you have full range of finger movements. And again, there are tons of different choices for these in different price ranges. Next up, we have wearable warm things. Pretty standard, you have your fuzzy pants. Writers get to work from home, so of course we're gonna wear comfy yoga stretchy pants. And I personally very highly recommend the fuzzy ones for this time of year, because they keep you nice and warm, and they just like, they feel like your legs are being hugged by cats. That sounded creepier out loud than it did in my head, but they're just, they're super comfy guys. 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm in front of the camera, I'm wearing comfy pants and fuzzy ones are the best. Then of course you have fuzzy socks. There's a billion varieties of those. Then we get back to some more cool things. This first one up, I really love. I got my dad a variation of this last year. He's a writer too. And that is foot warmer. You plug this in and you put it under your desk and you put your feet in it 
and it warms them. It has warming components, but it also has an optional massage component you can turn on that just like has little rotating things that massages their feet. And I haven't tried it, but it just, it sounds heavenly, especially in the coming winter months where like sitting at the desk, your feet get so cold. <laughs> Next up, we have this thing that I didn't know was a thing until I went down the rabbit hole of these warming the component things, and that is a warming mouse. Doesn't that just sound like the best idea ever? I have really low blood pressure, so my fingers get super cold, so this just sounds amazing to me. It also has little pressure points on it, so like it helps if you have issues with your hands from using the computer all day because you're a writer. Alternately, there's also a computer mat, which just you put your whole keyboard on it and your mouse. It works as like a mouse pad and the whole thing is heated. So then like both of your hands are warm. That way you don't end up unbalanced between the two hands. Next up, we have drink focused things. This first one is one that you probably haven't seen on many of these lists, I hope. If you are a writer or you know a writerly person, odds are you have seen they make a cup of tea or coffee and you sit down to write and then you get super into a scene and the next thing you know you take your third sip of the coffee and tea and it is just ice cold because it's been sitting there for like a half hour. So this is a cup heater. It plugs in via USB, I think and you just put it on your desk and you put your cup on it and it keeps it warm so you never have to drink ice cold tea or coffee. Brilliant idea. Similarly, if you have a writer person who likes to drink lots of tea, if they don't already have one of these, they absolutely need one. I have one and that is electric kettle. These are the best. You plug them in, they heat up the water super fast, like really fast and they turn off automatically when it gets hot so you don't have to worry about it boiling over or your house catching fire or all of those things that you don't want to happen you just leave it plugged in and then you get engrossed in the scene and forget and then you just go and you have to just turn it on again because it powered off and your water got cold because it's been an hour because you forgot about it but it's okay because nothing's on fire and that's important the first one the white one the cheaper one is the one that i actually currently have it's lasted five years works for me but i also added a cooler looking option if you have a bit more money to spend next up we have something that josh just got for his birthday and that is the chemex Chemex is great because it's a single cup coffee maker that you make fresh and it makes really good coffee. It looks really cool, but more importantly, it makes a single cup of coffee. So again, for us writers who forget it and it goes cold and we have to toss it and make a new cup, this way you're not wasting four to eight cups with a standard coffee maker. This way you don't have all of the waste of a Keurig, but you're still making single serving cups of coffee. Speaking of heating and microwaves, we have our next item on the list, which is really weird. And that is a microwavable book. That's not what they market it as. That's not what it's called. I just like to think of it as that because it's a book you can microwave and like, who doesn't want to microwave a book? At the end, when you're out of pages and you're done, rather than just throwing out this notebook, you microwave it and all the words go away and you can start it all over again. The nice thing about this is one of them that I found is pretty and normally writers don't write in pretty notebooks because we don't want to ruin them. And in this case, they can write in it because they're not ruining it because if they ever feel like it's ruined, bam, fresh book. I haven't used one of these personally. The concept seems kind of strange to me, but I think it makes a cool gift because it's kind of out there and people haven't seen it as much. Kind of along these lines, we have another great gift for writers. I gave one of these to my dad, I think, um, and that is the space pen. They're probably never gonna be in a zero G situation where they need this, but this pen works in like all conditions, uh, high heat, low heat, upside down, right side up. Writers never leave their house, so it's probably not gonna be very useful, but it's just a fun gift. Alternately, you could go the more fancy old style route and you could get them a quill that they will probably never use, but it looks really pretty and they can put it on display and feel like a super fancy writer by having it around. Next up, we have software. You can get Scrivener subscription thingies, CDs on Amazon. A lot of writers swear by Scrivener. I don't like Scrivener just because 
every time I use it, all I can think about is all of the ways that as a software engineer, I would improve it and change it and the user interface bothers me. Alternately, there's another thing that I've been wanting to try for a while and I'm really scared to try, but some writers are brave enough to actually do it and also swear by it. And that is Dragon Naturally Speaking, which is a voice capture software so that if their fingers or wrists are getting damaged from writing all the time or their brain just works faster than their fingers, this is a dictation software. So you just speak out loud, it captures it, puts it into words. Your price range can match whatever version you wanna go with from the older one to the newer one. Next up, we have the best headphones in the entire world. That was probably a little bit of a lie because I haven't tried every headphone in the world, but these headphones are amazing i have them josh got them for me for christmas like four years ago josh has them too they're a bit on the pricier side but the quality is so high i use these for writing because they shut everything else out the only thing i hear is the music which means i can focus fully on a scene and get really into it and the just the audio quality is amazing and these have lasted perfectly fine for four years, just endlessly. And when they finally do die, I'm just gonna get another one of these same exact headphones because I love them so much. If you have really big ears, they're kind of uncomfy, but for anyone with standard ear size, they are really great. Next up, we have some bath options, waterproof Bluetooth speakers. In the reader version, I said these were great because you can listen to audiobooks, but they're also really great because you can put on music. Some of the best ideas come in the shower. If you take that and add music on top of it, you get even better ideas, and it is just an amazing place to brainstorm. And on top of that, you can get them the second thing, which is a waterproof notepad. You put it in the the shower it has little stickies so if they get an idea in the shower which is where all of the best ideas come from all you do is you grab the pen and you write down the idea and I just think that's so cool shower products for writers that's a thing next up we have writerly help books I put a few of these on the list I'll probably add more later as I find them uh, three of the ones on the list are ones I own that Josh got me for either Christmas or my birthday I can't remember and that is these ones so these are highly recommended on multiple reddit threads which means I trust them more. So I'm not gonna go into the specifics of each one of those. You can find them on the list. I don't wanna make this video too long, but yeah, books about how to write are always a good bet. Next up, we have Archive Grave Ink Markers. If you're a writerly person just released a book or has an upcoming book release, these are great because they're low acid or no acid. I can't remember, which means they don't damage the paper of the book being signed. They also last a really long time, much longer than the standard pen. And they come in a variety of colors. I just love them so much. Every single signature I've ever done on signed copies of Aletheia were with those markers. Quick plug, this is another great gift for writers because Writers should read books, and this is a book, and they should read it, because it's awesome. It's a dark dystopian new adult book. Twist the tropes of the genre. They can learn all about trope twisting. And that was it for this video. If you liked it or found it helpful, please give it a share and a thumbs up. I don't know why I gave you a thumbs up sign for saying share, but you know what I mean. There's a bell down there, you should ring it. We post new videos on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, except yesterday. Yesterday doesn't count, pretend that didn't happen. Again, you should get your writerly person, Aletheia. It's available in hardcover, paperback, and ebook. It makes a great Christmas present or birthday present, or like, you know, Mondays deserve gifts, right? Mondays are hard to get through get them this. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always I will see you in the next video.